turn your King James Bible to Genesis chapter 13. Question, which you already know because you can see the video title, is America worse than Sodom and Gomorrah? Let's just be honest about this. Uh, no hatred or bigotry or intolerance or whatever. I'm asking a question. There is a ancient city that existed in the past and um, it was called Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, Sodom, and then there was the sister city to it, basically Gomorrah there. Um, <clears throat> and that's, it's described in the Bible. We're going to go through the passage. And I'm going to ask the question, the sodomy there, the what would be called homosexuality in the modern vernacular, uh, was it worse in Sodom and Gomorrah than what we have here in America today? Is America worse than Sodom and Gomorrah? Just asking the question. Genesis chapter 13, verse 13 says, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners exceeding, er, sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Excuse me. Um, they were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. It wasn't just, oh, they, they lie, they have some problems with stealing. They're, you know, there's a sin going on in Sodom and Gomorrah that is an exceedingly bad sin and wicked before God. Let's see what that is. Let's go to Genesis chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19. It's kind of interesting because Genesis 13, 13. 13 is the number of cursing in the Bible. And um, Genesis 19 verses 1 through 25. Uh, 25, 5 is the number of death, often associated with death in the Bible. So 5 times 5 is 25. Kind of an interesting thing there. And uh, 19 plus 1 is 20, which would be 5 times 4. But we won't get into that. It gets a little bit too deep for some people. Uh, because the, after all, the chapter and verse markings aren't inspired. And, yeah, okay. Um, this just It's just a man-made book. Don't worry about it. A mm -hmm. um, little sarcasm there. Genesis chapter 19, beginning in verse 1. And there came two angels to Sodom at even, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Behold, now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and ye shall rise up early and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. They're sent down there to see if, the, if it's really that bad is why these two angels came. And Lot knows what's going on in the city, and he's saying, hey, come on into my house here, you know, come in, and, and oh, no, we'll, we'll stay out here in the street. And Lot's thinking, not a good idea. Um, stop there for a minute. Are there cities here in America where it's that bad, that you shouldn't be out on the street at night? Yeah, definitely. Uh, now, it's for crime reasons, but there's probably some cities where there might be some sodomy type of stuff as well that you don't want to be out on the street at night. Verse 3, And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. And they called unto Lot, and said unto him, Where are the men which came in into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. That doesn't mean get to know them as far as, oh, what's your name? Where are you from? Do you, where'd you go to high school or something? No. What it's talking about there is a sexual intimate relationship. Uh, the King James Bible is very careful not to offend little children. So it'll say that they knew them. He, Abraham knew his wife or, you know, that's what it's talking about. It's talking about a sexual relationship, but you can read it in front of children and it won't vex their, uh, their innocent conscience like a lot of the other perversions do that come from the Vatican. Uh, but let me stop right there for a minute. Are there any cities in America where a man can go and all the perverts come out of the woodwork and say, okay, we want to basically rape these men? Well, I don't know. Is it that bad in some cities? I don't know. I would say probably not, just to be fair. I don't really know of too many cities where you're hearing that where strange men come into the city and the, the sodomites come out and they say, hey, come on out here, we're going to rape you all night long. I don't know if that's happening. It could be, but I don't know of any. So I would say in that point, no. I don't think that uh, America is to that point of being that evil yet. Uh, verse 6, 
And Lot went out at the door unto them, and shut the door after him, and said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Why would he call them brethren? It's kind of weird. But he's rebuking their sin. And But look what he does here, just to show you how it messes up a righteous man living in a bad, wicked city like that. Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known men. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men... Do nothing, for therefore came they under my, the shadow of my roof. So he's willing to send out his two virgin daughters and say, yeah, go ahead and you can rape them all night long. Um, are there people that are that messed up in America right now? I don't know. I'll let you, the viewer, decide that. Verse 9, And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourn, and he will needs be a judge. Now we, will we deal worse with thee than with them? And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. So they're violent sodomites. They're basically saying, if you don't send the two men out, then we're going to rape you, Lot. We know who you are. You live in the city here. You're one of us or whatever in terms of a citizen of Sodom. But uh, hey, if you don't let these guys come out, we're going to take you. Is that going on in America? I personally have not heard of any case that I could say, yes, right here in, in Chicago three weeks ago, there was a man and this happened. I don't know. I personally don't see anything of open, you know, sodomite raping going on in streets of America of men that are not sodomites. I haven't heard of it. So in that case, you could say that, yes, Sodom was much worse than modern day America. But let's continue reading here. Um, verse 10, But the men put forth their hand, and pulled Lot into the house to them, and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son-in-law, and thy sons, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place? For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord hath sent us to destroy it. It's a bad thing when that happens. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law. They didn't take him seriously. Now, again, is that going on in America? Hey, you better repent. You better take down these pride flags. You better stop these pride rallies. The wrath of God is coming. Whatever you do fanatic, crazy. See? Now we're back to something that, yes, is going on in modern America. Maybe they're not openly taking men out and raping them if they disagree with them. Maybe it goes on. I don't know. You know, I don't look into a whole lot of that stuff because it's very vexing to my righteous soul. I don't need to see a lot of evil and all that other stuff and, oh, I have to watch a video. It happens here. No, I don't really want to see that. We caught some guy on surveillance camera that Please don't send me that stuff. If there are news stories about it going on, well, okay. If you know about it going on, sure. All right? You see, but there's a thing. I'll get back to the evil that is going on in America here in just a few minutes. But I'm trying to compare, you know, apples to oranges here, so to speak. Sodom to modern-day America. Verse 15. And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened. Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him. And they brought him forth, and set him without the city. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad, that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain, escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And Lot said unto them, O oh, not so, my lord. Behold now, thy servant hath found grace in thy sight, and thou hast magnified thy mercy, which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. And I cannot escape to the mountain, lest some evil take me, and I die. Uh, he was originally from the country. Okay? He was herding cattle and things, basically a cowboy. And now he's afraid to go to the mountains, you know, some, unless something bad happens to him. said he kind of messed him up there a bit. Um... He wants to go to another city. We'll see that here. Verse 20. Behold, now that this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. O oh, let me escape thither. 
Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city, for the which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zoar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew, overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. All right. God burned it with fire. God was not uh, very tolerant, so to speak. You say, well, um, you know, I just don't know if America's that bad yet. Well, um, maybe not. I don't know. Again, like I said, are, are there cities in America where the Sodomites will come and, and go after men that are not Sodomites or something? I don't know. I know years ago, a long time ago, I was fishing near a city down in Pennsylvania and uh, with my brother-in-law, and we were walking along, and there was a bunch of sodomites standing there, and we didn't say anything. We just had our fishing gear on, our waders, you know, and our vests and things, and our fishing rods, and we're walking along. We walked past, oh, excuse me, you know, walking past, and they were just glaring at us as we walked by. It's, What's your problem? You know, and I thought, I'm not even going to say anything. I don't need to get in a fight with a bunch of, you know, sodomites here, but just violent. And uh, so if it's not going on, I don't think we're too far away from that time period where these sodomites would like to forcibly rape, you know, men that are not like them. So while America might not have the open sodomy type of stuff that's going on in, t in terms of raping non-sodomites, like what's going on there in Sodom, um, America does have a few things that Sodom does not have. Um, uh, how about abortion? Does the Bible say anything about that the, the people were aborting their own babies? Oh, hey, I don't want to raise this child here. Uh, we were out fornicating. So now a woman becomes with child and she says, oh, it's just a, a fetus. And so I'm just going to have it uh, ripped out of me and whatever else, just rip pieces out and things. Uh, my own little child in there. Uh, I'll just have it ripped out. Um, Sodom was never guilty of abortion. America is. How about pornography? Is there any mention of pornography coming out of Sodom? That it was just spreading out all over the earth? Just every kind of pornography you could imagine? America does it. Is America better or worse than Sodom? Hmm. How about war crimes? Now, I'm not some kind of a hippie liberal or something. Make love, not peace. Or make peace, not... What is it? Make love, not uh, war. That's it. Peace, you know. Uh... No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying genuine, real war crimes that affect our own soldiers. Like using radioactive nuclear waste on the battlefield called depleted uranium, DU rounds. Look it up. I'm not making that up. We use radioactive nuclear waste because it, it's really good with piercing uh, heavy armor like on tanks and things. Uh, that hurts our own troops. I've known soldiers that actually had problems, birth defects with their children because of being exposed to depleted uranium in the military. Hidden Wars of Desert Storm is a documentary on the whole thing. Um, and then you get into the whole thing of uh, all the stuff we did in Vietnam, killing civilians over there that had nothing to do with the Viet Cong. Um, what we've done in Afghanistan, going over there and getting the drug trade going again after the Taliban had put an end to it, or pretty much had put an end to it. The uh, Golden Crescent, the Golden Triangle, you know, and the drug running that we do with the black operations and everything else. Did Sodom do anything like that? No. Hmm. I wonder what God thinks of a nation that does those types of horrible things. How about child molest molestation? Happens all the time. They have child trafficking, you know, sex trafficking and things. Children being abducted and being sold into elite sexual rings and things. And you get these people out in Hollywood and whatever else and they're being forced to molest children to get better positions in Hollywood and uh, let's do snuff films and all these other horrible things. You had the Finders uh, operation years ago where the um, Tallahassee Police Department called a bunch of men. They had a van with a bunch of children in it and uh, they found papers on them. They traced it back to Washington, D.C. So they contract contacted a Metropolitan Police Department 
And they went and they found this old warehouse and they were molesting children there. And they had whole big photo albums of children from all around the country. These finders would just drive around and taking pictures of children out playing outside or children wherever else. And then they would say, okay, we can abduct these children. We'll go and they'll get, we'll get them for rich clients and we'll bring them to them. And then they can do a ritual sacrifice stuff with these children. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I have the police reports in my files right down there. I am not joking. Uh, Medusa file, Craig Roberts. Uh, it's here on my shelf someplace. Um, Colonel Craig Roberts, he wrote about it. And uh, he talked about the finder's situation. Uh, I have so many books on my shelf. It's hard to find all of them or to find, find them. Um, but I have the book. It's here somewhere. <laughs> but the finder's child molestation. You look out at Hollywood, it's just, it's a huge, big uh, pedophilia thing in Hollywood. Did Sodom do that? Was pedophilia even mentioned? No. And you know, this whole thing, well, sodomy, it's, it's fine because it's two consenting adults. That's not the issue with sodomy. You see, sodomy starts out, oh, we have rights, we can love each other and all this other stuff. Uh, but then it becomes an army and they say, we're going to take away your rights. We're going to take away your freedom. Kind of like what the Sodomites did there with Lot. Hey, bring those two men out that we may know them. And, and Lot says, don't do this wicked thing. And they say, oh, okay, we're going to take you and rape you then. What happened to consenting adults? What happened to, hey, we were born this way. We, were, we have love for each other or something. We just want to do our own thing. Just leave us alone. No, that's not what it is. Sodomy is an evil movement. That's why it pushes its beliefs on other people. It's a military genocide uh, operation. They do military tactics to force it on other people and take away other people's rights. And they themselves are actually being put through a genocidal situation. You become a sodomite, you can't breed. You sterilize yourself, you destroy yourself. That's what sex perversion does. I did a video on that not long ago. Number five, how about entertainment? The entertainment industry with the the rock music and the rap music and whatever else it talks glorifies killing yourself and killing other people and uh hollywood that's put out all kinds of filth all these wicked actors that are involved most of them in uh, child molestation and all kinds of other satanism there's plenty of proof out there on that and that stuff gets put out there it gets spread around the earth and just destroys the morality of nation after nation did sodom ever do that no, but America does it. Where's the, the horrible culture that Sodom put out? Sodom and Gomorrah spread out all around the world. It's not there. Hmm. Does America deserve to be destroyed by God? Yes, it does. And if you're saved, you'll be praying for that. Praying, Lord, please put an end to this. You won't be saying, oh, God bless America. How could God bless this satanic nation? The devil has completely taken over America. And uh, to pray that it continues. Uh, you're very wicked if you do that. Matthew chapter 10, verse 14 through 15. Let's read that. It says here, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. So, what's the real test there? Is it the evil of Sodom and Gomorrah? Well, that's there partly. But look at verse 14. Whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words. Um, how about America? Do they receive me as a Christian preacher or you as a Christian? Um, nor hear your words. Hey, can I tell you about the Bible? Oh, we, we have to get that book out of here. We, we have to say it's a hate crime. It's hate legislation. Uh, it's it's uh, all got all kinds of bad stuff in it. We should ban it from the schools. Out there in Utah, they tried to ban the King James Bible from the schools and get it out of the libraries because it's offensive literature or something. Uh, it's offensive because it tells people that they're sinners and explains about sin. It explains why God, how God judges and why God judges sin. 
but oh, we have to get it out of there. When a lot of parents fought it, and it, oh, we'll put it back in there again. But they're not going to stop. Once the perverts try to take out the Bible and take away our firearms and take away our free speech and whatever else, they won't ever quit. It becomes their agenda, their whole mission in life. And if they have to use military tactics again, and they'll say, well, maybe we can, uh, you know, we, the school shootings are bad, um, and that makes guns look bad. So if we can't get conservatives to do school shootings, hey, we'll do them ourselves. We'll get our own people to go out and carry out missions. And we'll go out and we'll do school shootings, and we'll go out and we'll burn places down, or we'll blow up uh, things or whatever else, and we'll all do it. We'll do it to make it look like the enemy, our enemies are doing it, the conservatives are doing it, so then we can take away the conservatives' rights. <laughs> it's warfare tactics. That's what they're doing. We're going to silence people on YouTube. Hey, you're not allowed to say certain things. It's, it's illegal. You can't talk about this stuff and whatever. You're taking away free speech. I never advocate the killing of any group of people. Ever. All right? The, the Lord is going to take care of that stuff. I have never said, okay, this coming month in August, it's July right now, early July, July the 2nd, I think. In August, I want everybody to meet here. You come here to this place here in northern Maine, to my office here, and we're going to build up an army and we're going to go start killing such and such group. I've never said that, and I never will. Period. Defense is one thing. Offense is another. Building up an army to go and retake America. Let's go march on the White House. I've never advocated that. I'm not hateful. What I'm saying is I'm reading what the Bible says, and I'm comparing things in a logical, scientific manner. The Bible condemns certain things. Normal, rational, logical thinking should as well. You should look and you should say, hmm, you know what? Uh, yeah, if everybody starts... Uh, the same-sex marriage stuff and whatever else, you know, we're not going to produce children, and therefore our country is going to fall. So, oh, I don't, I don't like what the Bible has to say about, uh, you know, sodomy or whatever. Okay, well, why don't you look at science? Do you really want a strong nation? Is a strong nation people sterilizing themselves? Or is it good family structure? Well, we can prove that there's families that do bad things and whatever. Yes, just destroy yourself with your own philosophy. Isaiah chapter 1. Back to the Old Testament now. Isaiah chapter 1. We'll see a few more things here about is America um, worse than ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9, down through verse 20. Except, it says here, Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. All right, there's a small remnant in America right now of righteous people that are not going along with the, all the stuff out there, the woke things and the perversion stuff and all the other. We're not going along with it. And that's why God hasn't completely destroyed this nation yet. And the Lord can destroy this nation, by the way, and preserve the righteous. So don't forget that. Don't think, why would we pray for our own destruction? Well, God, please destroy this country. That would mean we would get killed as well. No, that would mean God would get rid of the wicked, spew the land, or spew them out of the land, um, and he could preserve the righteous. I have a study on that. I'm trying to think of the title of it, but you can look it up about God's, uh, when God vomits, I think is what it's called. Verse 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and the sa and sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with it. I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. He's talking about people coming to worship him. So you have this wicked nation, and you're coming and saying, God, we worship you, oh God. we." Were... And God's saying, stop that. 
Be quiet. I don't want to hear that. Don't worship me when you have such a wicked nation. So you get all these professing Christians here in America and, oh God, we worship you. Oh, let's come together to worship God and oh, we're here to, to celebrate Jesus and all this other stuff. What are you doing watching the Hollywood movies? What are you doing dressing like them? What are you doing listening to that wicked music? What are you doing being okay with abortion? And I don't want to judge other people. And we have we have gay people here in our church and whatever else. We're LGBTQ, blah, 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 whatever, friendly. Huh? And God's supposed to be okay with that. No, he's not. Verse 14, your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, like they do in the modern churches, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. You know how many people had to suffer so America could have the standard of living that we currently do? How many sweatshops are out there? How many people, civilians, innocent children were murdered by our military operations that we do around the world? So we can have increase in drugs, we can have increase in the oil production and whatever else? <laughs> God, God bless America, right? You say God bless America in sincerity, not sorry, not you know negatively like I'm saying. If you are asking for God to bless America, you will be judged for it. You will. You will answer for that. Stop saying it. Verse 16. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Oh, that sounds like work salvation. That sounds like your lordship salvation. No, the Bible says over and over and over, cease to do evil. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. You're supposed to get away from sin. You're not supposed to live your whole life in sin. It's a good thing. It's a positive thing. Verse um, 17. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. You know, there's so much news that comes out anymore, I can't even cover it. I mean, it's just insane. China's buying more farmland here in America. China wants to put a factory in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. China wants to come in. They're giving money to the universities. China owns this much part of Hollywood. And Bill Gates owns 6% of John Deere. And, and this, all this global stuff. Oh, we're going to have uh, geoengineering now. They want to, we're going to have solar power, but we're going to geoengineer to cool, cool down the planet. So we're going to have cloud cover, but solar power. Okay, um, yeah. Uh, hey, we're going to be putting the military into a bunch of useless wars so that the soldiers can be killed. Thank you for your service. Am I missing something here? Hey, soldier, you here to serve your country? Yes, sir. I'm here to serve my country. What are your orders, sir? Um, I'm going to put you into a fight that you can't possibly win and you're going to get killed. Oh, and by the way, we're going to put some experimental uh, up there. You know? injections huh excuse me um america is finished as a nation and if you're praying for god to bless this nation you are in sin you're in very serious sin is america uh the same as sodom and gomorrah no it's, it's, it isn't it isn't um is america worse than sodom and gomorrah Absolutely, 100%, yes. Uh, there might not be the same thing as what was going on in Sodom there, with Sodomites coming and saying, bring out the men into the street there that we may know them. Um, that might not be there. But I'll tell you right now, there's a lot more evil that's going on in this nation. And um, God can preserve a righteous remnant. God will put us through some very bad things here in the future, and I don't think it's very far off now. Um, I mean, you can just see that the nation is dissolving. 
I mean, the uh, refinery fires and things and all, they can't produce fuel there anymore. And OPEC's going to be cutting off, I think it's a million barrels a day of oil uh, here this month, July. Um, you know, the BRICS nations are going to be coming up with a new currency here in, in uh, August, and it's going to be gold back, they say, and, and uh, you know, all this different stuff. Um, but hey, everything's fine. Nothing to see here. We're going forward into the future. You know, God bless America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, God's not going to bless America. And when you read there in Isaiah, and it says, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil, seek judgment. All the other things it goes into, it's talking about personal righteousness. If you can't get national righteousness, the people will no longer listen. They will not take heed to the word of God. Then you have to start to get your own life cleaned up. You have to start to say, hey, you know what? I need to, I need to get away from this Hollywood stuff. I mean, they hate me anyhow if I'm conservative. So why am I giving them my time and my money to watch their filthy entertainment? You know, Hollywood's been anti-Christian and they're a bunch of pedophiles and things from the very inception. Uh, always trying to... to diminish the authority of the scriptures and make fun of the scriptures. Why would you watch them? Well, I just like to go over to the enemy camp occasionally, you know, not just, not all the time, but just once in a while, I'll just kind of tread into the enemy camp and laugh at their jokes and watch what they're doing. Uh, no, stop that. Um, well, I like to listen to some secular music of, from people that hate God. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about sending my son to off to the military. I think it's a good thing and whatever else. Uh, no, uh, you could make some arguments for the military maybe back in World War II or something. But since then, um, military has gone off the deep end. You got a bunch of women officers yelling, you know, <laughs> yelling at men, <laughs> giving them orders. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, no woman yells at me and gives me orders. None. Uh, I find that very insulting, but whatever. Uh, if you're a man and you can go through the military and have some female officer screaming orders at you, well, you know, whatever. Put on your little tutu and go dance some ballet or something. But uh, um, just wanted to put this little study together here. I'm, I, I pray all the time, just to be honest, Lord, what can I preach? What can I say? What can I do? To get this nation judged by you and i don't mean well we're going to i'll step back and the jesuits can kind of move things around and do stuff and whatever else and i'll let the federal reserve and the banks you know they'll, they'll come up with all their little schemes to slowly enslave the people and the world economic forum can come in and say no 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 i want supernatural destruction of this nation i want to see it and i say god what do i have to do what is there any sin in me you know um, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Okay, Lord, what it, what it's left there. I burned all my Hollywood stuff years ago. Uh, I've gotten rid of this. I don't listen to wicked, evil music. I'd, what else is there? Show me, Lord. And I hope that that's your prayer as well. Personal righteousness so that you can make it through what's coming. God, what do I need to do? Is there something that I can do to be part of you judging this nation? That should be your prayer as a Christian. Hopefully that's a challenge to you. Um, if you're a sodomite, if you're a lost person or whatever else, um, I would say you better take heed to what the scripture says here. Um, come now and let us reason together. I'm trying to reason with you. I don't hate you or whatever else. Saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet... Your sins are scarlet. It's interesting because there's a certain city that reigns over the kings of the earth in Revelation 17, and she wears purple and scarlet. Huh, her collar's there. Uh, bishops in purple and cardinals in scarlet. Huh, red and purple. Though your sins be as scarlet, very wicked, sinful things that you're doing there, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. God can wash away every evil thing that you've done. You come to him as a sinner and you say, okay, Lord, I've really messed up. There's no possible way I can undo my bad deeds with good deeds. 
You don't even have to worry about that stuff. Become a little goody two shoes or whatever. No, no, no. Come to God as a sinner. All right. It's a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And Paul says, of whom I am chief. Understand God wants you as a sinner. You come to him and you say, I've messed up. I've made a wreck of my life. I want to be washed clean. I want a new start. And I don't even know how to do that, Lord. I don't even know how to clean up my life and whatever. I need you to help clean up my life. I don't want to go through a national judgment. I don't want to be burned like those sodomites were back then. And believe me, God could do it. Supernaturally, God could do it. God could also simply say, okay, how about just Russia, China, come on, BRICS nations come together, over half the world's population, by the way, till this whole thing is done, all the nations that are joining with BRICS, over half the world's population will be with BRICS. But the American people are so arrogant and they think, it doesn't matter, we still have more power, we have more money. and Pride goeth before destruction and haughty spirit before a fall. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of proud, very proud Americans out there. I saw somebody in my comments the other day and they said, you know, the American dollar's not going anywhere. We're, you know, the dollar's stronger than ever. And I said, oh, really? I said, uh, well, then why did they just raise the debt ceiling? <laughs> We have to have more debt to continue to stay afloat. That's not a strong economy. But uh, God can save you. It's not too late. God can forgive your sins. God can give you a new life. And so that you can make it through what's coming. But you say, ah, no, I think I'm, I'm good. I can get through this. I'm tough. Oh, we've got this. You know, yeah, I've got this. We'll see. Um... That's going to be it for this video. I do pray that you take heed to what I've said. Uh, search the scriptures. Find out how to be saved, how to be born again, if you're interested. If not, what can I tell you? So um, that will be it. Uh, let's pray for the wrath of God to hit this nation. Uh, let's not pray for God's blessing anymore. Thank you for watching.